Yeah. Hello, friends. Yeah. I figure I'm going to call everyone that's watching friends. And if you're rude to us, if you're mean to us, you're still my friend because I'm rude to people that are nice to me all the time. It's hilarious. Right? Woo! <laughs> oh, I can't swear in the first place. <laughs> All right, well. Eh? You want some? Yeah, that's what I thought. Even the mask does not impede me. Man, this bounding box is really weird, too. It's like oddly shaped, not what, what I thought it looked like when we set it up, <laughs> you know? Mm. I think, now this might just be me. Oh, come on. But maybe you could do with a third base station. Maybe. And if not a third base station, then a thousand dollar upgrade to the valve index. Wow, this is how far I am above the floor. Yeah. Huh. All right. Between there's this fishing mechanism that's pulling things to you. Except you can't do it with skulls. Or larger objects. Ugh. Come on. These are not that heavy. They're not. Not in real life. I think you have to use, yeah, use your other hand. It gets pain to switch to a different hand position. What, this? With the right hand, so... These? Um, Yay! Yeah. Picks, picks up up. What am I looking over here? Huh? I don't know, I can just do... Yeah. 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 And if I got a problem with something, I'm just gonna shoot it. Alright, well, I'm going back to this. Once again, Geo suffers from motion sickness and I do not, so I have the tendency to uh, walk around with the uh, controls more for a smoother gameplay uh, viewing experience. Don't mind Geo, he's just walking around getting water like it's between scenes or something like that. Yep. It's not like we're trying to be professional or anything. Son of a birthday. <sighs> I think these things are cool because the textures, it, when you when it lights up, it seems to show, like that the skin is a little bit translucent or whatever. That's how I feel about this? This feels not consensual. This, what are you talking about? What this? Doing this? This, this thing needs to be a clear signs of consent that it is not registering. How is it not? <laughs> how is this non-consensual? Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this. It wouldn't look like this if it didn't want it. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll edit it out. Come on. Get it. Uh, what happened? What is happening to me? Okay, come on. Uh, ah. All right, that was more difficult than it needed to be. place it could go, Russell. Can I even get through here? Ah! Fudge. Should get that fight on it. I was scared, sorry. Yep. Also, the reflex sight, it's got this kind of like off-center circle thing, like, and it makes me think, I don't know. I don't know, it'll, it looks a little funny to me. Sure, blame the gun. I will. Oh, come on. Where am I going? This is this an empty mag? Uh, I don't know. Oh, 
look at that. Look at that bit of mucus. Can I touch it? No, I can't. I can't. Well, I, all right. Well, no, I can't. I was hoping to be able to play with the mucus. Excuse me. No, all right. I think this room's clear. It's difficult to eat with a mask on, but I found a way. Okay. The loading sequence looks way cooler in VR than it does on the monitor right now because we get this 3D model. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Trying to figure out where I am. Okay. What's that song from The Simpsons where the dude's singing while his pants are down? Great old man. Ain't what she used to be, ain't what she used to be, ain't what she used to be. Cool. Okay, man. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, come on. Ready our silence as he got on the train. Damn it. Well, the good news Ding is dang it, come on. How do you know that? Because they're taking him to Nova Prospect to torture him. That's the torture place. So they're hardly going to torture him before they get there, so he's fine. Russell speaks a lot of sense. True. You're not going to torture imagine, someone like before... ...fast enough to intercept them realistically. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, we need a thing. Where's the thing? I don't know where a thing is. Oh, you got your syringe, but you are losing health right now. Hey. I say you there. Uh, I'm scanning, don't see anything. You got it. I could go in there. Sure, why not? Let's go in there. I don't know if I've been in here before, but there's the thing that I want. I could have pulled it towards me. Oh, look. A save icon. And there is a floppy disk. We used to store information on them with magnets, if you can believe it. Yeah. Specifically, two micrometers magnetic iron oxide, three micrometers barium ferrite, 1.2. Russell? How do you know all this? I'm reading it here on my computer. I downloaded the internet before the war. <laughs> you downloaded the entire internet? Yeah, most of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, we should do that before the apocalypse. At least Wikipedia, in case we need to like do anything. Also, if they really wanted this to be accurate, they would make this little metal piece fall off or get bent super easy. And then you got a ruined floppy disk. Awesome. Yeah. You remember having to use those? Yes, I do. They made us use those in school, kids. And you're like, I want to use my phone. Come on, are you serious? I can't get in the floor. There. Ah, I'm caught. Caught in the web of my own lies. Okay, I don't think I can go up there, but okay. That was nice that they gave us information about the floppy disk. So I didn't have to. It's for the kids, man. It's doing it for the kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it vibrates in my hand every so gently, so yeah, it feels good. It feels really good. Feels really good. Feels really good when I get recover health. Yeah. 
I knew it. I got this game figured out, George. Well, do you see that? You know all locations of power-ups instinctively and intuitively. I mean, some. I'm just doing that for fun, though. Destructible physics. So I wonder if, like, in-game, if we saw, like, a third-person readout that, like, Alex would just be, like, hovering over the ground by, like, two feet right now. Like these things. Good timing. Whoa. Oh, it's oh, making it's an eyeball. eyeball. Whoa, I never saw that before. That's dope. So we have been here a year? I don't remember this. This is right where we stopped. This is right where you stopped, maybe. I must have been like, oh, I'm dead inside yeah. at this point. Well, eyeballs make me think of Vortigaunts, and so does green lightning. So something to do with Vortigaunts. I think you're right. Russell, are you seeing this? Uh, possibly. Are you seeing floating garbage? It looks like it's just cardboard. Right. Well, In the I'm shape not. of an eye. Yeah. Weird, though. Yeah, it is weird. Vortigaunts are weird. Cool. I wonder if they planned on Vortigaunts being like what they were in Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1, you know what I mean? Because they're just like enemies in Half-Life 1. <sighs> I don't know. I wondered about that myself. I think they did because it was like, it shows even in the first one that they have like manacles and stuff. And then Monocles? Manacles? Manacles. You mean like? Like cuffs. Are those called manacles? Uh, yeah. And so then in, like, in like the last level, you can see them like being assembled and things like that. Oh, uh, so they're enslaved? It seemed like that was the implication. In, in the, even in the first one. Cool. Oh, 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 <laughs> hey. Calm down there, buddy. <laughs> I know you're excited. <laughs> Just calm down. All right, heads on spikes, head crabs on spikes. Um, we got a running joke in my D&D &D group that I uh, seems like a heads on spikes kind of guy. All right, oh no. I forget which button's what all the time. Yeah, same. It's so weird using this as an interface that's kind of like your hand, but then it's also you know, not. Buttons, yeah. Yeah, it's also a mouse pointer, but then sometimes it's not the mouse pointer, it's the hand. Uh-huh, yep. Uh, this is red. Oh, oh I was, cardboard. all right. Okay, uh, line up the eyeball, I guess, but First of all, looking at the wall, Vortigaunts. Mm -hmm. These are Vortigaunts. That is a combine. Is that the Zen thing? Is that the bad thing? I think so. Or is that one of those helicopter whale things right here? Huh. Oh, you know, no, those are the sand flea things that like jump in and out of the ground. Uh, ant lions? The ant lion. These? Yeah, look at it. Okay, ant lions, Vortigaunts, balls. Buttons in a configuration Pause. matching this thing over here. This thing has buttons. We press the buttons and it shows up red for wrong, I assume. And we can change anything off to the right when you do that? No, but there's power. What's the central image on the mural? Power going here and it goes over to there, that thing. So that thing is gonna lift if we activate that thing. And there's different configurations on the wall and presumably looking through that eye leads us to the right one. I've figured it out. Yep. I figured it out. But before we look on at that, what do you think? Those combine helicopter things? Maybe. Yes, that one. this is definitely this one, yeah. and it's carrying a box of people. There's a strider. The strider is killing the Vortigaunts. Other striders killing the Vortigaunts. 
or subjugating. These are the helicopter things as well, raining down stuff on the Vortigaunts. So the Vortigaunts are getting killed by Combine. Um, Super Zen Boss. Subjugated by Zen like Boss. Pictures of Vortigaunts. Thank you for catching up, Alex. He looks sad. Very sad. Saved by the Vortigaunt. Yeah, and then over here, we've got, uh... Oh, that's the exact boss thing. I don't remember that. On Zen, on the planet, that's like the first thing you encounter. I know, you're the one who's like played Half-Life, I'm gonna have to like play Half-Life 1 concurrently with this or something. Uh, I'm gonna get you a Black Mesa symbol, right? Uh, I think so. So Black Mesa symbol, everything pointing towards... Somebody spent a lot of time on this. Bearing a crowbar. <laughs> Bearing a crowbar is... Lambda, the one free man. Yes, that is Lambda, the half-life symbol. That's Gordon Freeman with the crowbar radiating out into Black Mesa. The free man. Over here, there's the tentacly stuff that we think is so creepy. What are those? Those little sonic bulldogs. Oh, yeah. I hate those things. Shoot them. <laughs> you shoot most of the things on this wall. It looks like something's X'd out, their vision is X'd out. So that's their, that's meant to represent their vision? Or what are these things? Well, that looks like the Zen boss in the middle, and then the, the skull is opening up like in the first game, that's how you get him, is you have to like balloon up over and bombard them. Like that? But then like, and then as a result of them dying there, when they die, uh -huh. then the Vortigaunts are free again, and they can see. Sweet. Oh, that's what the free man did. Yes. And then over here, we've got what looks like the Black Mesa symbol on that person, and another person, and a Vortigaunt, and the Citadel. So. I'd be willing to bet. Oh, that's Eli Vance. Look at the leg. Oh, he's got the one leg. He's got the peg leg. So that's Eli Vance. And, and Alex. Is that Alex? It must be, right? I mean, it's either her. Yeah, because he escapes from Black Mesa with Alex. There, his wife dies, but he makes a deal with G-Man uh -huh. to get Alex out alive. There's a special Vortigaunt, or maybe just. They're all like a hive mind collective anyways, right? Yeah, like they all like this one, they say this one remembers the free man, and like they all share memories, so. This one remembers the free man. Yeah, so Vortigaunt, Citadel, Crowbar. And this is stuff that's happened in the future from the perspective of this game, right? Or is, are they indicating he will be there I in the future. He will. This is what has it's been. What he has done already. And, and what he will do. This is this is the prophecy. Okay. So, all right. Well, now I need to figure out how to move forward. So, eyeball. All right. Looks like bottom row, second column, top row, third column. Uh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Don't walk under that. So wait, I didn't catch what the objective was? Oh. What do you mean? Okay. I looked down to the critical moment. So what did you have to do to unlock it? So you look in the eye and you see the configuration there. You see? Okay. Through the eye. Yeah. I just entered that configuration on this, and it worked. There's lots of dummy configurations everywhere, uh -huh. but you touch the magical floating cardboard and act activated by green lightning, and then you can get through. Cool. Yep, I'm on my knees. I don't need to be. Oh. Ha ha. Doesn't spark joy. Head crabs? What do you think? Combine? Barnacles? Must be. Mm. 
More head crab. Alex, you all right? What's wrong? I'm fine, Russell. What's up? I'm losing your signal. Alex? Alex? Can you still hear me? Keep hitting in the same direction and, and trying to get above the ground. Okay. Russell? Russell? What's on the little panel to the right? What's drawn on it down below? Another one of those bulldog things, I think. Okay. Sonic bulldogs. Sonic pugs! Oh, there's stuff up here. Uh, Vortigaunt. Is that a Vortigaunt? They look a little different. Um, it looks like it. Okay, close enough. Up to the Windows settings icon, got it. Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's a nice little spiral there. I like that look. I'm going in. Yeah, I wish I could decorate my house like this. Just make floating stuff. Oh, dope. Dope! All right, I'm stoked. Oops. Oh. Hello. The Alex fans. Uh. Sure. Come into. Okay. Thanks. You are welcome. So, what's our Vortigaunt doing here? Cooking. Right, but I mean <laughs> in general. I have a brain injury. Oh, I'm sorry. Then. My brain is injured. That's terrible, <laughs> oh. and I hope. Ow. I'm actually pretty busy looking for my father. The Eli, Eli Bands. Bands. Yes. The Combine have him, and I really do need to get moving. The Combine. Yes. Do not go yet. I must show you something. Look, I appreciate this it. This way. I can't stick around. I. It is important. I know, I'm sure it is. The Alex Bands must go this way. Cool. Yeah. Look at his head crabs. Got enough to last a long time. Wait, I'm gonna check this out a little bit. This is like their inner bits. Yeah, he guts at their heart. Nice. He boils them. Yeah, like a crock pot. Whoa, sorry, I didn't check out how cool what you're doing was earlier because I was looking at the other cool stuff. <laughs> Whoa. The combine that other my kid. Oh, he's put him in one of those pods, okay. I would help. I, I really would, but the Alex Vance is honestly very busy saving her dad. You will not save him. He is dead. What? Or he will be. Is or will be? It is a matter of perspective. He's got a chip but in his head. Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. I... Look, thank you for everything, but yeah, I really you. have to go. And I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles. The combine drilled here. I am severed from the vortescence. No. I am alone in my head. I'm sorry. 
look, if, if I can, if I run across your friends, I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I haven't. Then you will. I get it. I get where they're going with this. <sighs> Courage, Alex Vance. Come with me. Dude? Huh? Dude? Just like, uh, I'm gonna go back to waving my green stuff in the cave. You must go. Yeah, give me a second, man. This place is cool. Like, you got floating spiritual mycelium. It's pretty cool. It just keeps going, too. That's, that's one hell of a particle effect. Your Look at it, girl. Brings you this far. Just a little yeah, I'm on it, dude. Come on, calm down. All right. Okay, down I go. That was cool. Very cool. Oh, hey, thanks, dude. What's going on here? Huh? It's a star. I will help the Alex Vance. Look to the northern stuff. Why? For guidance. Okay, thanks. Are you done helping? I am not. Here. Sustenance. <laughs> uh, I'll eat it later. Thanks. Thanks for the help. You will be welcome. <laughs> All right. I love that guy. He was cool. I love all the Vortigaunts. For, you know, a species that shares its consciousness through the Vortessence, like, all of them seem to have unique personalities. Well, not all of them. But, you know, the ones that you encounter for story points. Oh, god dang it, I got squat. Just a move in here. This looks like one of those, uh, oh, I got sustenance. I got an achievement. This looks like one of those, uh, Miyazaki, like, head, you know, from yeah. Princess Mononoke? What are, I forget what they're called. Um, tree spirit. Sure. Ugh. Sorry, I'm off balance. I'm drinking too much. Well, then that's the perfect time to see our friends next time on Game Day Friends Online. Woo. Bye. Bye. Go ahead and stop the recording. Game Day.